everybody, welcome back to another episode of Last Day on Earth Survival. Today we return, ladies and gentlemen. First off, I'd like you to know we've been rated yet again, so we'll be dealing with a little bit of a revenge raid afterwards, and honestly, probably some base repairs and potential upgrades as well, because I'm sick and tired of these freaking raids, but in awesomer news, Kafir posted something pretty freaking sweet today. Customization is almost ready, coming soon in Last Day on Earth. That is what they tweeted out, and you know what went along with that tweet? This right here, oh, this right here came along with that tweet, a video of customization with characters, skin color, hair color, beards, hairstyles, males, females, and you guys can see the female going to work here, including her urination, need to pee. Oh, but that's a mystery. That's for us to find out when the update actually drops for this thing. So uh, pretty freaking sweet that we are actually getting a very finished video. And honestly, by the way, this video is structured. Kafir, I have done similar videos uh, when items are very close and when features are very close to actually being done. Here you can see that I imagine almost all the systems necessary for uh, what you call for customization to be implemented are here. You guys can see that you touch uh, the icon next to your name in the inventory that takes it to that custom customization screen then you can pick male female customize hair color type of hair uh, a couple of other options as well so by the looks of it a very almost finished if not totally finished probably just doing some bug fixing and making sure that things are totally right because in terms of features I mean maybe they're adding more hairstyles and stuff but it appears to be pretty freaking close to being done, which is awesome because I can't wait to customize my character a little bit and become unique. No longer will we all be the same. Now, there will be uniqueness to all of us, which is absolutely freaking awesome news. So I'm very excited to hop into this. I hope that you guys are as well. Can't wait to hear from y'all in the comments regarding this and can't wait to decipher how the lady pees because this is obviously the greatest mystery ever since females were teased in the game. The biggest question, of course, everyone's minds, everyone out there. How do they pee? How do they pee? I, I don't know to this day how to pee, so we're gonna be finding that out at some point in time, which is uh, I I exciting news. I guess, but at least by the way this video is structured, it does make it think and make it seem that this is probably going to be in the next update by the looks of it because it is so, like, it just looks so polished and so finished as well, which makes me think the next update, I'm very, very certain, very confident that it is actually going to have this, uh, whatchamacall, this feature with the customization and then they actually released a week ago, if you guys remember, the dog video regarding the dog being raised as a pup, the pet, all that type of stuff. They did release that video and uh, has done these types of videos and features are very close to being completed but in terms of completion like unless Kafir is trying to keep a lot of the stuff with the puppy uh just kind of under wraps until it releases in this update my best guess is that that puppy might be coming in a later update so by the looks of it very very near future in terms of updates it's not like it's going to be like 1.8 point something from my from my opinion from what I'm seeing here because we didn't actually see a video of the dog doing things like attacking other people like finding secrets slash hidden things that we as normal people wouldn't be able to find which are features Kafir list of the dog being able to do so I'm guessing those systems are probably still being developed on the puppy so per snaps I'm not as confident anymore at least not as confident as I am in this because from this preview video it looks like customization is almost completely done so I'm very confident that we're gonna be getting this in the next update and I can't wait to get it and for all of us to be unique to be ourselves and I can't wait to hear from you in the comment section down below regarding this regarding what y'all gotta say regarding how you're gonna characterize if y'all gonna be a male if y'all gonna be a female and how much you are going to pee in the future that is obvious the vitamin p will reach new levels with new sources <laughs> but reminder that comment is down below is gonna put you a third of the way into the week of 25 dollars iTunes slash Play Store gift card giveaway. All you gotta do as well is make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you subscribe and that will enter you in on this video. Y'all can enter on every last day on Earth video. Uh, and then when Saturday rolls around, pick a random video from the past week. Pick a random comment from the random video. And that would be Zavina tomorrow, Saturday, last day. Feel free to enter on all past and future videos as well. And a notification bell's handy. Not just so I can bless your face with informations with the new updates and with that jazz, but so you don't miss a video for opportunities like this. But anyways, back to worldly matters. Back to the matters 
of ours that we got to deal with here at home. Our base continues being raided by the raiders, which again is a good thing. I'm not complaining. I just they happen to break things and I don't like when things break because that means I got to fix them. And also I smell bad, but honestly, I'm ugly and I proud. I'm smelly and I'm proud. Uh, so we got to go ahead and repair a couple of walls. If you guys caught a peek in my inventory, you guys can see I'm pretty ready. I gathered some of these materials. Uh, we've actually been raiding an okay amount of base materials, which is good because, I mean, that's just kind of like, it kind of like, because think about it, like our base, at least in revenge raids, is kind of like the quote unquote initial investment to raid in the first place. So if we recuperate that initial investment, everything from there, oh, baby, baby. That is pure profit. So let's go and begin said process here. We got uh, one of the level three walls that was broken into. We're gonna wanna go ahead and actually start collecting things from there. We get some stone bricks, get some oak planks, pretty nifty stuff there. Uh, they also check this out, dude. I think they just happened to break a couple of stone walls. They actually very bad. They almost broke into this room here with a couple of stone chests or not stone chests, but a couple of bigger chests, which could have been bad. They, I don't get it, man. Why do the Raiders just have something against the east side do they all are they like west side i don't know because they have not ever broken a single stone wall on the east maybe the raiding algorithm thinks that like stuff near the level four walls will be the best so they try to raid like this stuff because the level four walls are near that's like the only thing i could think of because that is really weird because they've seriously never broken a stone wall there somehow God knows how. Don't even ask me how they manage this. They managed to break freaking level one walls inside of my stone walls. But I, I don't know, dude. I'm not I'm not a wallologist. I'm just out here doing some repairs, trying to get by. Holy hell, they actually broke. Wait, why did they break both of these? What is the point in breaking? Oh, what? That's an unnecessary wall they broke. This, this block was technically already quote unquote open. And then they broke this wall for no reason. So that's uh... That's weird, I suppose, but we do have a solid amount of walls that- Oh no! No, no, no! That was a boo-boo. Oh, I forgot we were running low on inventory space. We should have been a wee bit more careful with that. So let's start blowing through some of our supplies, and then we'll go on our revenge raid and get plenty of revenge, boys. If you think I'm just gonna let someone break in my base like this stand, well, it's not a bad hypothesis, but- I will not allow it. So, uh, we still gotta go in there to grab that in the meantime. Let's actually upgrade these walls. We should have plenty of materials to make that magicalness happen. We can grab this in here. We need to get two more walls. Upgrade them fully. One wall, upgrade them fully. From peeking in my inventory, I think maybe we should have, like, the perfect amount of materials with, like, extra oak planks. So, uh, we'll be seeing. Was that the last of them? That we had to do. I think we just have to go ahead and upgrade these puppies. There we go. But I'm just so excited for another update to come out because it feels like there hasn't been. A, I mean, this isn't going to be a major update. At least I don't know if they have more than a character customization. It might be. I there might even be more than a character customization. I'm just saying by the looks of it, character customization is honestly looking like it's going to be the next update. But hopefully they do add more because it has been a week bit of a while since we've gotten anything that one could oh we need to get more stone bricks man mm. not a fan of that we got to go ahead and find some of those puppies but it has been a little bit of a while if you think about it since we've i don't know gotten something actually major and i mean kafir has said it is because they're working a lot on multiplayer which is more than a fair reason i'm totally i totally understand that because multiplayer is honestly going to be what pushes this game over the edge and what takes last day on earth to the next level because when you're able to play with friends ooh, 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 the raids are gonna get legit the firefights are gonna get cooler and this game will get oh so much doper and i think that we might actually have a little bit of a stone brick shortage so give me a second there we go got a couple over there from the uh wall packages that we got a while back speaking of packages i still can't believe that they're actually offering this is like if I was ever to tell you guys to get a package, this might be one of the best deals Kafir has ever put on here, especially compared to the rest of the Chinese New Year stuff. I'm just saying, you guys saw some of the trash they were trying to pass off for a couple bucks. I would be bamboozled. I would be baffled if they made a lot of sales on that because those were really some bad deals. But this package, on the other hand, dude, five guaranteed engine parts for the price of three bucks. Like this stuff's kind of nice too, but five engine parts? That is 50 shades of freaking dope, and I, 
I could I could get jiggy with that. But right now I'm trying to get jiggy with making our base safe and making sure that they do not break into our stuff and start stealing our things because I like my things very unstolen. Thank you for asking. Cause these raiders are getting more determined, and especially as updates do come to the game. I'm guessing that raiders might even get more powerful. And I'm not saying that's happening for sure. I'm just saying like for snaps, I could I could see that happening. But with that, we do have some wood here and we got the setup for a raid. We do have a VSS here that is pretty broken. So, I mean, might as well just use it till it breaks. Uh, we also have this furnace, which we can as always toss a little bit of wood into that and continue that schmelting process. And I mean, we don't have the best armor on. It's a surprisingly ragtag type of armor setup now that I think about it, but we gotta roll with the punches. We gotta flow with the roll. We gotta roll with the flow. We gotta flow with the flow. We gotta flow with flow from progressive. And we're gonna be doing all these things. Oh, speaking of that, shameless. Totally shameless self-plug. Uh, I'm planning on hopefully streaming Fortnite Battle Royale a little bit later today. Honestly, maybe an hour or two from when this video is published on the channel. So I'd highly suggest you guys check that out. Fortnite Battle Royale, if you guys don't know, is a free Battle Royale game that is freaking like taking over the world, pretty much. And uh, I love playing it. Season 3 just dropped with like a couple of huge changes and a ton of new stuff. So I'm just really excited to hop in. And uh, it, it'd be super cool if you guys showed out, showed some support, and hopefully allow me the privilege of entertaining you with my surprisingly good skill. Like, it's, it's been a bit of a while since I played Fortnite Battle Royale, but if you guys have watched the Rules of Survival video, you know that I'm, like, relatively good at Battle Royale games and shooting stuff. You know, if you've just watched Last Day, maybe you don't know that, but I'm pretty good at that. And uh, I just thought since Fortnite is free, involves building, a little bit of the survival elements with the Battle Royale, I thought y'all could be fans. So, uh, just wanted to voice that really quickly. Now, we need to voice our grievances. With this man, oh yes, we can actually break into this, but dude, this is the first time we're gonna be breaking into something in a hot minute. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like this base is going to be the, that great of a base. That's okay. I don't judge bases by how big they are. I judge them by the quality of the base. So let's figure out just what kind of quality we talking here. And actually, yo, we could reverse engineer this and if I'm not mistaken, oh no, 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 don't start breaking into that. If I'm not mistaken, we might be able to break this wall and just fandangle our way through. God dang it. Oh, no, never mind. That's not happening. <laughs> we chose poorly. Ah. Well, we did break in and we do have to break another one anyway. Uh, oh, he's got a couple of colored chests and some stone walls. Boys and girls, this is actually looking a little bit promising. <laughs> and the re hold up, hold up, hold up. This is actually a really good sign. My man's over here is a refining furnace. That is usually a very good sign. I think that we might for snaps come across a solid little stockpile here. We're going to break into here because this will be the area that allows us total access and freedom from the outside. He's got a lot of colored chests. I think you guys know what we got to roll with. Colored chests come first and hopefully, uh, actually no, we got the jerky with us because we come prepared. Always got to bring some jerky with you and uh, holy disappointment, Batman. Nothing there. Uh, maybe we sir. I okay. Hold on if we're trying to be logical here the refining furnace probably a pretty good chance it has some stuff over on Next to it. Maybe like it makes sense to keep the stuff from that. Nope. I guess it doesn't make sense I guess I'm just the crazy one uh, Maybe the blue chest we got we got a lot of chests to open to got to keep that in mind because of uh, the fact that oh uh, Bah uh, but the fact that we did get into here, so the only way that the horde is going to get to us is uh, if and when. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, if and well, I mean, I guess we could shoot them from here and not worry about them damaging us. But the only way they're going to get here, because they can't fit through that little crack. Only the big one can teleport to us if he's not moving for long enough. So we do need to be a little bit cautious, a little bit aware of that. Uh, maybe the red chests will be good. Like, this guy had the resources and the will to color his chests, so... I got high hopes, and I don't know why I got high hopes, because obviously they they ain't being satisfied. We've already opened up all of his colored chests, and they've been nothing but pure disappointment. Hmm. There's got to be good stuff somewhere. I'm oh, I'm kind of tempted to open up the refining furnace now that I think about it. That could have some pretty good stuff. He could have been refining something big before he logged off. Uh, but we have opened all the colored chests. Why don't we get his trunk this is the last trunk this one's uncolored maybe the uncolored means best stuff goes here i don't know what the color hey I mean, it's not the best stuff but yo i i can't complain about some charcoal charcoal is something of the pretty dope variety 
I like the pretty dope variety because uh, it's pretty dope. Eh, uh, I don't know if I'll grab that four. Maybe there's nothing else worthwhile grabbing, but I had high hopes and those hopes. Oh, we still got to go with the. Mm. There's always a chance that maybe there's stuff in the trunk of the uh, of the pickup. Ah, uh, is it worth the risk? I don't know, actually. Uh, you know, we'll do. Mm. It's actually a really hard decision because I here's the thing. If we don't fight the horde, we save some durability on our VSS. We're probably we'd have to blow through this entire VSS. So technically speaking, if we don't fight the horde, we quote unquote loot a VSS. And I mean, realistically speaking, what are the chances that uh, let's actually uh, bring all these guys over here. Realistically speaking, what are the chances that I don't know the trunk actually has something good? I don't think it's that good. Holy hell, dude. Talk about a party. I'm just bringing all those guys down there. You know, just so they can have a good time together. Catch up. I'm a good guy. What can I say? Good guys starve. Um, but then also that gives us a little bit more time to run for the freaking hills. Because there's going to be plenty of that. Hmm. A question. Oh, can we loot this without the zombies getting like really mad at us? I don't know. I'm trying to find that out. Are they going to come running? Uh, oh, yeah. They come and running. Can they hit us from there? Great question that we're going to find yeah. out. Oh, nothing too great there. So it doesn't matter. Uh, let's also bring them... You know, why don't we- are there any other chests by the walls we could open? If so, actually, I wonder if any of these chests kind of in the corners. They're kind of like low-key, kind of hidden. I could see there being something pretty good, so let's try and bring them over to this wall. While we break into the chest, that way we just know- I mean, we might go a little bit deaf. But hey, baby, thank you, thank you so kindly, thank you. Honestly, if we didn't lure all of them to our way out, we probably would have never opened that box and we would have been disappointed. So, uh, thank you so much, Zombie Horde, for doing that. You indirectly made me get two engine parts, 11 copper ore in a copper barn. Honestly, I'm tempted to break into this refining furnace because I feel like he might be making steel. Like, he has all the resource. Nope. Okay, he ain't making jack squat. Okay, well, there's that disappointment. Uh, why don't we try to loot into the rest of these chests? Oh, bless up. They're not going to hit us a 50 million times. That's going to be helpful. Uh, not a th although actually stone bricks, pretty nice. If there's nothing better to grab, I don't mind me some stone bricks. Maybe a couple of resources there. Stack of wood to bring to the old man. Because I'm always thinking of my old man, the old geezer, every time I go on these raids. What can I say? I'm a nice guy like that. I'm going to just eat the rest of our jerky. Free up some inventory slots there too. Um, we still got a couple of small chests we can loot. We have these chests over here. Ice. I don't know. I mean, it looks like what this guy's doing is he's trying to build his level three walls around his base to protect them. Which I respect that. You know, he's on the grind. He's on the grind. But everything we've looted on the stone bricks hasn't been good. The only good loot we've gotten is from boxes not on the stone bricks. So, honestly, why don't we go and loot? I got a good feeling about maybe this corner chest. I don't know. <coughs> Sorry about that cough there. <coughs> oh, I guess sick. No, I think I just got some. Got some. Ooh. That's, that's respectable. I don't know. Nothing. I mean, nothing to brag about, but nothing to not brag about, you know? Uh, I guess we get some weapon parts to use that for the next revenge raid uh, forward payment. <laughs> and honestly, why don't we grab the connecting rods? I'm pretty high. I'm pretty high up on the connecting rods. And hold on. I was freaking. I was eating some nuts before this. Honey roasted. All right. Before y'all imaginations go wild. And uh, I just hate. I hate that about eating nuts, man. You got the leftover nut stuff in your mouth and it's just like bleh get out of my mouth nut stuff <laughs> uh but i like the connector rod just because i don't know they're not the easiest things to find in the wild they don't have a lot of use now but at least by the description important engine component an engine component we got to build some vehicles with engines in the future so i could totally see connecting rods having use why don't we let's let's toss out the incomplete stack of stone bricks grab that and we got probably two more chests before we got to call it quits and the big one shows up Actually, if we're lucky, as long as our armor doesn't break, the big one could actually teleport to us because we have seven seconds when the big one spawns until he teleports to us. So technically speaking here, we should be able to open up at least one more chest before he pops over to us. And yeah, so we, we should be able to open up two more chests. Although the second chest is going to be very panicked and very rushed. Uh, might as well grab some tape. I think I'm running low on tape to craft more hatchets back at the home. Uh, you know what? Why don't uh, we'll 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 get into two of these left or right? Uh, eeny, eeny, meeny, miny, mo, catch a tiger by the toe. If he holla, let him go. Eeny, meeny, miny, 
that, that, this one, I think. Okay, so we're gonna open up this one, and then we're gonna go to the right, see what we can get, and then we're hauling our booties straight out of here, because, I don't know about you guys, I like living. It's pretty cool. Uh, alright, totally nothing valuable. Big one is, we got the timer, it's happening, we're probably gonna get whacked as soon as we're in here. Oh my god, you can hear him running. Actually, it seems like he's kind of distracted. Oh no, oh no, actually, there's kind of some valuable stuff here, so I do want to keep him, uh, there we go, he can't hit us through there, so the good news is, as long as this is happening, we might go deaf, but we actually should be able to loot stuff. Oh, mama, we found the loophole we've been needed. Got some car air filters, too. I might as well ditch some stones for that. Holy hell, don't you guys ever get tired of that? And then we just kind of migrate over here. Where's the big one? And long, as long as the big one is trying to hit us, we're safe. So, dude, this is perfect. I never fully realized. Hello, tons of weapon parts. Goodbye, pine planks. Yeah, as long as we kind of go to the walls every once in a while, bring the big one over there. Get him running. Is the big one coming? Yo, big one, please don't teleport inside of here, buddy. Please, please, I don't... I don't know where the big one is. He's kind of just, like, all big and muscular and stuff, so it's kind of hard to tell. I think we only have one chest left to go. And you know when, you know when the big one's moving, because your screen shakes. Dude, that's awesome! So honestly, now that I think about it, if you do manage to pull this off, all that you have to make sure to do is A, wear earplugs so you don't go deaf like I am right now. And hello, wrenches! Nice to see you. Not as nice as it used to be, but pretty nice. Dear God, I can't hear. Uh, I guess we could leave behind some stone bricks. Actually, let's leave behind the wood. We got plenty of wood. It's not the hardest thing to grab. And as long as we look at things here, I think every chest should be open. Oh, except the ones on the outside. Yowzes! Doesn't that suck? Well, if we wanted to, we could probably kill the rest of the horde and then trap the big one in here and then have him go to the outside of the... Like, have him try to hit us on the outside while he's stuck on the inside. So honestly, dude, I never fully realized that, but that actually brings a whole nother layer to raiding. Um, if you do manage to pull off the chest little... I don't know if I'm gonna call it a glitch. Maybe it's a, 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 I don't know if it's, a, it's probably a glitch. I don't, like, who knows. Whatever it is, the ch situation. We'll call it that. If you manage to pull off the chest situation, ah, it puts you, oh, we're getting attacked back at home. Well, looks like we gotta go and uh, spoil them. I mean, it, they, they can't really break any of our level three walls, so it's okay. But yeah, as long as you do manage to get the chest, honestly, it's probably your best idea to try and loot First priority is loot all the chests, not next to like the exterior walls. So any walls that face the outside, if there's any chests on those like blocks that are right on the outside with just like separated by one piece of wall, it's honestly a perfect idea to save those for last because the big one won't teleport if he thinks he's like attacking you, you know? I mean, there might be a wall in between, but the big one's like, hard door, I mean, it's, it's pretty much the same thing, right? Something along those lines. My game, I don't know where this horde is. All I know is that my game is, uh, it's, it's getting laggy when I go to the right. So maybe they're over here. Maybe we're about to see a stockpile of dead bodies. Uh, no dead bodies. Okay. There goes that hypothesis. Did they already just die? I don't see any dead bodies anywhere. <laughs> um, well, RIP to those dudes. Uh, sorry to hear about your deaths there, guys, but I'm very happy to go and toss some more engine parts in there. That brings our engine part total almost a smidge under 79 in here, plus like 37 in our inbox. All in all, we're in a pretty, uh, pretty nifty situation. I must say. We also do have a nice little stockpile here of copper, a little bit of stockpile of steel. Don't want to turn all the steel into plates, because I don't know if we can reverse that, and steel bars might be useful in the future. Uh, we also got some wrenches we can stockpile, and we got some copper ore we got to stockpile as well. So I'm going to go ahead, organize this inventory, because I, I know organization is just the greatest thing in the world, but uh, it, it, it'll take a while. So uh, talk to y'all in a sec. And with a little bit more room coming our way, boys and girls, we can head on over hither to the chopper. We got a little bit of a fireworks show here. Trying to celebrate the Chinese New Year after all. Gonna head on over there and uh, go and enjoy the fireworks. Get the goods that we can and then we'll be doing that one more time tomorrow probably. Hopefully. Yeah, we should be able to squeeze that in before because we got one day and one hour. Tomorrow I don't have class so I should be able to do things uh, relative. No, not the silent abode. Uh, head on over to the fireworks show. Should be able to do that and then we should have the six fish. Six lanterns. We'll bring some wood. We'll be gonna go from there. And we'll be able to go talk to the old man, be like, yo, old man, what is up, my dude? He'll be like, yo, star, what is up, my dude? And I'll be like, yo, what is up, my dude? And well, what is up, our dude? Our way to victory. Hopefully, get ourselves some of those Chinese New Year pants. Because, holy hell, man, 
we need some of those because after what two three weeks of this event uh to this date still uh still haven't got any of that so that's 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 super that's super awesome i know it's just it's just so great it's so great it felt great. You know, it is great, though. Again, our a shower. Yeah. <laughs> My guy knows what's up. He's like, yo, Star, you need a shower, man. And I'm like, yeah. Yeah, I do. But uh, let's get that torch equipped on over here, though. Hello, zombies. I got some fireworks for you right over here. Would you like to see some explosions up close? Yeah. Yeah, I think they would. Uh, let's go and see what they were guarding. Probably the usual, just total garbage. And then uh, the three things that we need. Well, I mean, oh, we also got to make his pit stop by the dealer. We'll probably do that tomorrow, too, to celebrate the last day of the Chinese New Year. Get it? Last day? Ah! Got him. No, no, I, I, I didn't get him too hard. Uh, but let's go ahead and get these fireworks going. Let's get those dude a little bit of boom in their lives. A little bit of boom's always good. Uh, we don't have any band-aids, though. So, mm. See, I don't know if I want to wait until I get hurt a little bit more. I kind of rather stick with this because that way things are, I don't like, I, I just hate, I hate wasting med kits, you know, because they really, uh, uh, I really wish we could actually get good stuff from here. But I just hate wasting med kits because they can heal, what, 100 health pretty much? And sometimes you just need a band-aid. Sometimes you can't get the band-aid. Sometimes you can only get swarmed by a bunch of Zhang Shi and our buddy the frozen bloater over here. So let's get a little bit of boom over here to you guys. Bada bing. Bada boom. Yeah, Dano. Sunny Jimbos. And we should be able to get this last little chest open. See what it contains. Hey, we got some goodies coming our way. And you know what? Why don't we celebrate by spreading a little bit of vitamin P? A little bit of joy. I think everyone needs a little bit of vitamin P in their lives after all and with that that will go ahead and wrap up today's festivities unfortunately i know i know but hopefully boys and girls will be having an update coming our way relatively soon because that would be pretty freaking sweet especially if we finally figure out the secret to, to how girls pay who knows? But uh, that's going to go ahead and wrap it up for this episode of Last Day on the Survival. I hope that you guys did enjoy. If you did, make sure to like button, make sure you're subscribed, and hopefully I'll be streaming today and you guys can pop by that. That'd be pretty dope. And uh, what else am I going to say? Best of luck with the Chinese New Year to the alls of you. Best of luck with the, uh, whatchamacallit, the other thing. Bah. Yeah, Chopper. Joining that squadron. And finally, of course, best of luck with your own raids as well. But that's going to do it for me for now. Thank you guys the whole time for watching. Have yourselves an awesome one. And I'll talk to you next one. See ya.